guys, it's Kayla from Tactical Response and it's just another Medical Monday. Um, today we are going to talk about our pediatric med kits. Um, this bag was just a surplus bag that James bought off of eBay. He's not even sure if they're available anymore. Um, any bag with lots of pockets will work. I like backpacks just because they are easier to sling over your shoulder and carry. Um, and this is what we have for our kids. Like I have one at my house. My, this is my sister. She has one at her house. And then my parents have one at their house because they have the kids sometimes. So let's just dig into it. Go ahead and open it up. Okay. We'll start up at the top in the zippered pockets. Uh, the very first pocket you have is our assessment pocket and I'm just going to get everything out and then put it back in as we go. Uh, extra lithium batteries so that uh, we can replace the batteries that go in the um, thermometer. Braun is a great brand of thermometers and I like the ear thermometers or the forehead scanner thermometers just because they are more accurate and it's not gross when you have to use it on multiple people. These do come with little plastic covers that have to be on for you to be able to read the temperature, but it comes with extra and the, they're really, I love them. They're, they're super accurate. Those are the extra plastic covers so that you can change them out in between patients. We've got a headlamp to put on so that you can be hands-free, some shears to cut clothes or anything else that needs to happen, um, a glucose monitoring thing, blood sugar meter. Um, we have inside of here, we've got the actual uh, monitor itself, some testing strips, lancets and alcohol pads. These are single use lancets, so you can test multiple people if needed. We have a Littman stethoscope. This is actually a pediatric stethoscope. You can use the smaller end on a PEDS patients. Like uh, for a normal stethoscope, it has a big side and a little side. Um, on this, it's just, uh, especially, we, we made these, I think, when Gatlin was still an infant. Um, you can listen to what's going on in their heart better. And Littman is the, Shelton, give me a, a really good gun. Like, it's the equivalent of... The Glock 19. The Glock 19. Like, they are the best stethoscope makers. You can also get them that are amplified if you have hearing damage. They're just a lot more expensive. Um, We have a pediatric pulse ox, but I think that uh, it was taken out when my mom was sick, but it's just a little animal pediatric pulse ox. Here's the charger for it. Uh, we take them out at least once a month to charge them to make sure that they work and they go into any USB port or power outlet. And then you have to make sure that you get a pediatric blood pressure cuff. Uh, these are tiny so that you can use them um, and if the it's an older kid, uh, you can use them on the wrist or forearm as well, just like you would with an adult blood pressure cuff. But the adults don't get small enough to check the blood pressure of a child. I like manual blood pressure cuffs just because the automatic ones are not always accurate. Um, when I do a ma uh, an automatic blood pressure cuff check on somebody, I always... Uh, check it against the pulse ox and make sure that the heart rate matches up on both of them because if that that's kind of the trick to know whether or not it's accurate. In this next pocket, we have IV stuff, just a little flush, an IV start kit with a 20 gauge or 22 gauge needle. The higher the number, the smaller the needle some little duct tape, and then just a small bag of regular saline. Okay. 
in this bag, we have manual suction. This can be used if the, uh, the kid's choking or if they have a lot of fluid, mucus, anything blocking their airway, you can use manual suction to get it out. And I like the, again, I like the manual. It's smaller, cheaper, and you can buy more of them. So it's kind of a one-time use deal, but there are replacement parts that you can get. But if you need it, nothing else is gonna work as well. So you want something that's dedicated to actual suction. And then in this pocket, we've got the pediatric Ambu bag and tubing. We also have some oxygen up here um, if needed just get them hooked up to something but the, uh, this works even without the oxygen you can put the the little mask on their face and it's uh the ambu bag is smaller that's important because you don't want to over inflate their lungs so if that pretty much if they're prepubescent you want to use the smaller ambu bag and if they uh have hit puberty and are just young teenagers, then you can go up to the adult size Ambu bag. These right here are eye gels. They come in multiple sizes. This is a one. This is what you would use on newborns and very young babies. The 1.5 is what you would use on toddlers and very small children. The two is small children up to like, preteens, and this can be used on preteens up to teenage or like small statured teenagers. And the awesome thing about these eye gels are that they it is intubation, like legit intubation, but with the ease of an NPA. And at this is one of the few things I will nerd out over gear wise because up until these were created, um, intubation required a lot of tools and was kind of dangerous because you could get it in the wrong spot and tubes and like having to inflate stuff. It, it was daunting and I'm not kidding guys. These are as easy to use as an NPA and they're just, they're incredible little peds ambu mask and then these pouches are removable they don't have to be i like it because then i can just grab what i need um but let me get this back at the top this bag up here is our bleeding kit got gloves and multiple tourniquets. You notice that we don't have in the windless style tourniquets in here, and that is because they will bottom out on small children. And since this is a designated peas bag, we want stuff that's gonna fit them. And we have the TK4 and then a couple of rats. Again, they will all work on adults as well, but uh, not all windless will work on kids. So that's why we went with the, I don't even know the non windless style the elastic style tourniquet um this pocket right here just has like little mouth swabs um eye swabs to remove anything that gets in your eye and then a uh, dental kit so in case they have something going on there this is uh not just a trauma bag it's kind of an all-inclusive like if something happens to your kid bag this right here has uh, airways these are a bunch of different sized npas so we've got the lube and then again you go from preemie infant all the way up until you hit a uh, young teenager with the NPAs, for the most part, um, I'd rather you have a bigger NPA than a too small NPA because you can always trim it. And if they're unconscious and need it, you can get it shoved in. But you do need a pediatric size for little kids because 
their nostril will like it's so small that it'll squeeze the tube shut and they won't have enough air. So you want to get uh, sp specific with your peds in PAs. And then we have a bunch of peds um, ET too. Like these just uh, hold your mouth or hold your tongue forward to protect your airway. And there's a bunch of different sizes in those. This, these are some more. And again, these uh, just go in, they hook on your teeth right here right there if you're from the top view and your tongue goes right there so it goes in behind your tongue and helps keep that forward to protect your airway okay. this right here is some more manual suction Again, um, we've got the dedicated suction, but if it's something smaller, cleaning out uh, mouths, noses. And then if you have a woman deliver a baby, you want something like this to get in there. Uh, you go, you clean nose to mouth whenever you are suctioning anybody. So it's nose to mouth. And that's what those are for. And then this right here. Some extra tubing for in another mask for oxygen and it's a surgical kit some uh, clamps a space blanket for hypothermia and then a scalpel and it's just a little mini surgical kit just in case the tubing can be used for other stuff but you don't want to do that without training and that is the pediatric uh, med kit, trauma kit, whatever you want to call it. Um, but it's to keep your kid alive if something happens. And it's we don't like to think about it. Um, I didn't go into Pete's nursing for a reason. I want to cry when I see how tiny some of this stuff is. Like, where's the mask? Like, look. Look at how tiny this mask is. It's itty bitty. And we don't want to think of itty bitty patients um, needing this stuff, but sometimes they do. Uh, emergencies are not just for adults. And from personal experience, <laughs> you, uh, it's different when it's your kids. So you got to get your head in the game. And it's easier for me to have stuff laid out. To where I'm not having to think as much because it's hard enough to shut the mom brain off and turn the nurse brain on when it's my kid that has something going on. So I like the ease of access. I like that uh, everything is in its own designated pocket. Um, I love that these are removable and I hope and pray that I never have to use anything in this bag. So that's it. Your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends.